everyone? It's your boy, Jonathan Mathis. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys. Without you guys, none of this is possible. But I need you guys to do me a favor. You know, if you guys can, please subscribe to this channel. That would be great. That would be awesome. So you could come back for more. You know, hopefully my content is good enough that it keeps you coming for more. You know, you crave, you know, this sports channel. That's that's my hope moving forward. Today I'm going to talk about Kyler Murray because he is one of the top 10 players one of the top 10 players in the league, in my opinion. You know what? I think he's due for a breakout year. I think he's going to be amazing this year. You know, when he first came into the league, he had a lot of critics. A lot of people doubted him. A lot of people said he wouldn't be good, that, you know, he wasn't going to excel in the NFL, that he wasn't going to be an NFL-type quarterback, that he was not NFL material. Well, he proved a lot of his doubters wrong. He silenced his critics. And you know what? He was remarkable in his rookie season. He he dazzled us with his ability to use his feet and to also throw. He's shown flashes of maturity. Um, you know, this guy is a brilliant quarterback. He's shown great leadership that he can lead a team, uh, that he can drive his team down the field. He's shown that. You know, a lot of people said he was too small at the quarterback position. What has he done? He has proved his doubters wrong over and over and over again. This is a guy who turned down baseball uh, to pursue his NFL dream. And look where it's gotten him. I mean, the Arizona Cardinals, a lot of people are not talking about him because they're talking about the L.A. Rams, rightfully so, with that defense that they have. But let's not forget about the Arizona Cardinals. I mean, they have some major upgrades both offensively and defensively. They've gotten better on the offensive side of the football, and they've gotten better on the defensive side of the football. But I do like Kyler Murray. You know, I think he's a great quarterback. When he first came into the league, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. You know, Murray has earned my respect. It's time that we put respect on this guy's name. He is an incredible quarterback. He's a dual-threat quarterback under center. Uh, he agonizes you. He agonizes defenses with his arms and his legs. He can hurt you in so many ways. And there's no more excuses for Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray should be able, you know, to perfect his craft a little bit more, to, uh, you know, uh, do a little bit more offensively because he has the weapons at his disposal. He can utilize these weapons around him. You know, the, the Cardinals have done a good job as an organization to put you know, the necessary pieces around him to make a run next season. And Kyler Murray himself has all the tools as a dual threat quarterback uh, to have a productive year. I don't see why not. You know, you have uh, added players like A.J. Green. You have Ron Dale Moore. You have James Conner now. Um, you know, these are great position players uh, that can, you know, complement Kyler Murray's game. So, I think Kyler Murray is going to have a big year. Then don't forget on defense now you have J.J. Watt who also land in the in the NFL's top 100 players of 2021. So this can be a good year for the Arizona uh, Cardinals. Um, they have a bright future ahead of them. Um, they, you know, they have players uh, that, you know, are true winners. Players that are hungry. Don't forget they have DeAndre Hopkins at wide receiver. Uh, Larry Fitzgerald, we really don't know his status. He's leaning towards retirement. He's contemplating retirement. But maybe he might have that itch to still play, knowing what this team has now. You know, maybe he wants to take another crack at the Super Bowl. Not saying that Arizona will get there. It's going to be very tough because, look, the NFC West is stacked up. You have the Seahawks. You have the Rams. Uh, you, you have great teams. In that division. So it won't be easy for the Cardinals. But can the Cardinals make some noise? Absolutely. The expectations are high for that offense. And and, and Murray's going to lead the way for them. So I, 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 I believe in Murray. I think he's a great quarterback. You know, yes, he's small. But he has shown that as long as you can hang in there with the big guys, that you have a chance in the NFL. And he's pulled up his big boy pants. And he has, you know, come in, learned the playbook, adapt really well, got acclimated to a new team. And, and he has, you know 
taking it to the ne to the next level. You know, he has elevated those guys, those the the players around him. He's just gotten better uh, as time goes, and I think he's only gonna improve because there's only room for improvement. But I like Kyler Murray. I like this Arizona Cardinals team. Cardinals fans should be excited for the upcoming season. I don't know why they wouldn't be. But if you like sports, please subscribe to this channel. I can't emphasize it enough, guys. Subscribe to this channel. You know, um, it, it, it's great. I, I try to bring the best sports content and analysis to you guys on a, on a daily basis. I'm doing more to, to you know, uh, make this channel better for everyone, for all the sports fans out there. You guys, don't be shy. Just please, you know, if you guys have any questions or concerns, you guys can hit me up and we could chat it up and we could talk some sports. But till next time, it's Jonathan. You guys take care of yourselves. I'll be back in another video, most likely tomorrow. Take care. You guys enjoy your Sunday evening. We're closer to football season. I'm so excited. Take care.